Hi friends, today we will going to learn how to publish a app in a play console. It is an Android play console. I have already been logged in in the play console. So today we are going to launch our video downloading app in this. So I will going to show you how to download, uh, how to publish your first app in a play store. So for this you need to make a care uh, before uploading the application you need to have a description app logo and uh, .abb file and all those things to be you need to be have to before publishing the application i need you need to be careful with the some fee, uh, some options where it is uh, so much mandatory if you are trying to publish that directly and you should be careful that it should be not be get a block and should be not get a ban to the your account so mostly some people do that they will go into uh, they will just randomly add it and they will go into publish but it is a completely wrong way today i'm going to show you how to publish your app with the proper way so let's start uh, before that i have made the completely documentation what are the i required so in this this is the app name and uh, description and in the short description and the mail id and the private policy in the private policy you can generate from anywhere and you can do uh, you can paste it so it's not important just you need to be show the private policy what are the things you are taking from the application and what are the not doing so let's start so first i'm copying the app name this is the most important and please make sure in the app you should not mention as a free in the title because it's against to the google policy please make sure never use anything as in a free okay then copy uh, copying the uh, app name and create your app and write it your name okay i uh, have been copied here all videos downloaded so here is a default language which is the country you are facing you can write it as a default language so i am keeping as a default only and it is this is a most important point mostly people they will get a confused in this point here it's showing the app or a game so what some people will be going to do for the games also they will put the in the app only and they for the games also they will put in the app only that is a completely a wrong thing so before publishing the application you should make a sure whether it's a game or not game means it is like a completely which you are been completely like a entertainment playing the games but the application like uh, weight measurement video downloader facebook apps youtube this all comes under into a application so the video downloader application it's come under into a application not in the game please make sure about that mostly people they does not know and they will paste it like in the game so make sure you should understand which is the game and which is the app so what i am doing in the application i am pasting right now okay and your game is as a free or is a paid so mostly people when they want to release they will have you can see there is a some games where you can able to only purchase after that only you can able to play or you can able to use the application but here we are giving only free because we don't want any money because we are making a revenue from the ads so that's why i am been using only the free version please make sure if you are making as a free next time you can't able to make it as a pay so it's you should be edit only once okay these are the policy which you have been accept so just add just tick mark as a okay 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 then create app it takes some time to create your application name because it's a new console so it's taking some time no need to be worry about this so your page will be going to reload and it shows here some option So uh, here is a some things which mostly people get a confused here. So the first thing is showing that testing. Start the testing now. So mostly some apps you can see like a PUBG and all those things. What they will do? They will first release a test version for a hundred people user only. They will going to give so they can able to test the app and they can give the review based on that they will going to make their app like a live. And one more thing, set up your app. So here, what I am going to do, I am going to do the setup and release your app. This all are the testing purpose. So these are the two, these first one and the second one, set up your app and the start the testing app. So if your app in the testing mode, just use the batteries, start with the testing now. 
if your app is completely built and you have been taken some default template and you have been built and you are completely sure that everything is fine with the app so you want to make it live for the people so for that you should go with the set up your app okay so here you can see you need to follow some task here so let know about your content of your app these are the main things which you need to be fulfilled so first thing is asking set up the privacy policy okay here you need to paste your private policy so i already been copied the policy here is a policy link i have been need to copy here then i need to paste it here then i need to save it okay the policy has been okay so you can see here the changes saved sent for the review for the publishing over you it's not been completed so first you need to follow all the things you need to fill then only you can able to do this so go back again to the dashboard okay the app access this is the most important thing means your app what are the features is taking if what are the necessary things you require for your app so for this just click app access here is asking for your application you need to have any uh, access like some just take some applications are there where you need to register some applications are the no need to register just you can use easy way just take an example if you are using any task application or any uh, uh, e-commerce website in that what you will do you will go into fill your application like name address email id you will go into log that and you will create the account but in this case my application is like only the uh, video downloading application i'm not here keeping any uh, signing type of a system so here without that i need to mention that all the function in my app is available without any access related if you are using access then you need to click on this all the functions are in my app then you need to write what are the things you required for the logging the application but right now i'm not using anything so i am clicking on here just save again the save changes has been same go back again ads so here is asking whether your app is containing the ads or not so in my application i am making a revenue from the ads only so here what i am doing it's asking me my yes my app is containing with the ads the content ads label will be showed the next to your application on the google play store no my application does not contain that please make sure some people will make a big mistake on that they think that if you are saying as a no and it's showing the application if application is showing the ads and the google will be going to terminate my account no google can track from anywhere from your app so when if it is really ads are running in your application whatever it's a banner installation native ad whatever ads you need to mention as a s yes. if it is in your application there is a no ad then mention as a no even there is a one section one more if you are making any custom ad from your back end that you are operating and you are changing the application for that also you need to mention as a yes because you it is comes under into ads only so for that sake you need to click as a s in my application also have been added the ads so for that s okay again save and go back content writing this is the most important part irc this is a uh, uh, rating of your application because you can see there is a children abuse uh, children applications are there what are the ages levels are based on that the i i a r c rating will be there so in this this is the most questions are there so you need to be careful with this because this thing is so much important if you are making any mistake in this your account will going to get a terminate so just start with the questions here it's asking your email please make sure which console id you are using use that mail id only because you will get a one mail of iarc okay so that is most important thing you need to save all the time so i am here pasting my mail id here right now this is my customer console so i am pasting his mail id here so it's asking it's a game or is a social media all all type all other type of application so it is not a game it is not a social media it is only video downloader so i am clicking as a all other type of apps then next see uh, 
download the application does application contain any rate related content as a sex violence language and downloading as per now please make sure you must say because my app is not doing any kind of a thing just i'm noting as no then user content sharing does your app uh, native user allow the internet extension contact with others because my app is not sharing any information so i'm saying as a no online content does your feature promoting the content that you are internal uh, internally app downloading because of app explanation type of a content or movies or anything just say as a no most probably you need to tick as a no only the promoting or a sale age restriction product as no misleadings please make sure you tick all no 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 because mostly you are not using this kind of apps mostly but before posting that please read carefully and tick this okay then save and next then save again okay then again go back as you can see the which are the things has been completed it has been as a cut mark it's showing as a right 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 we have been completed then targeting of the audience okay uh, what are the targeting the age group of your application so my application is mostly used by 18 plus so see there is a one clause here is a age 5 to 100 or 6 to 8 or 9 to 12 13 to 15 and 16 to 17 for this age you are keeping any if you are ticking on this for because of this you need to change in your policies also the private policy in that also you need to mention for the which category which age you are giving so most probably just stick as a 18 place so your account will be won't be get it terminated so i am clicking 18 place overall so just next uh could you tell about unnecessary application to the child it's asking whether my application designed for the children's or no because my application is not designed for a children so that's why i'm giving that yes it's not designed for the children's label maybe it shows the next to your application on a google play console then next then save again then back then it's asking news is your app as a new news app i say no because my app is not a news app so i'm saying no then save again the yeah, one more option is there covid 19 content traces and uh, startup ads is saying uh, here is asking that uh, COVID-19 contact tracing the status app. My app is not public for the COVID content. My app is not for a public COVID-19 uh, setup. My app not be a public available for COVID-19. Because my app is not tracing any COVID kind of a uh, things or taking any status or all those things. So I am just clicking as my app is not been published for the COVID-19 COVID content traces. Just save again just go back data safety this is a most critical part because every day the google will be going to chase so so many policies that's why this is the most important part is there. go to data safety here is showing the some helpful to understand the collect and sharing all those things then i'm starting okay uh first section just you read it down this next this is the most important part please guys be careful here if this part is you are doing anything wrong now your app will going to get a tournament because this is the most updated part after the last year july uh, sorry from august 2020 the policy has been changed regarding this okay some people they will do just import the cvv file and they will make the changes that is a completely wrong in that some people for unnecessary thing also they will go into the tick mark but it is makes a problem to you it's asking data collection and security relating the listing requirement user data types need to be disclosed does your application collect or share any of the requirement user data my application does not take any data but but the ads are tracking to our application and they will take the data means it's not the like there are private information they will going to take it's like they will going to take the data of mobile and which location this all all comes under under into your data only so for that sake 
you need to tell that yes we are collecting a data like the ad agency will going to collect your data like mobile imea number and which country which mobile they are using is a android or ios so this kind of a data we are sharing with the ad uh, ads team like ad map and unity ads we are sharing with them so yes you need to click them is asking yes all the data is uh, collected by you and i am created yes or say you can say it's not allowed to create my application also you can say my application is not able to create any account because i already told you that my application is not for a sign up system is there in my account is not there so that's why do you provide any user to be required the data delivered optional it says optional whether you want to give or not it's up to you okay but also you need to give some answer see otherwise it's not been available it's saying the optional but it's always ask you does you provide any uh, way of user requirement data to be delivered no uh, see yes or no or the no but user deleted automatically after 90 days you just click on this okay then save the draft and here also you need to click as a s then next here this some people they will do they will tick on all the things no need to do all those things this is the most important thing because which are the things you are sharing and taking that things only you need to be answer here but in my application i am using only ads so ads data what are the things are required i need to mention those things only so what i am going to do here i am only sharing with my da my data is a limited data like mobile number emi number and the mobile model and uh, which country he is staying that kind of information i'm sharing with the ad networks because which we are ad showing they will take the data so that's why show here option my app crashing data i need diagnose data i need and the one more information device and other ids so these are important see based on your application you need to give the like a document scanner is there you need to give this kind of information contact information contact app is there for that you need to have this info but right now i am using only this information that's it i am collecting this information then click on a next so when i have selected only three sections so here asking crashing uh, logins and diagnostic crashing logins whenever my app is crashing so i can have a data so based on that i can able to do the changes in my application diagnose so how is the my performance going based on that i can do the changes okay then start with this here is asking uh we share the data here so we will use the analytics and advertisement and marketing just click this both and then save and then this also same thing you need to give uh sharing analytics and advertisement and marketing and one more thing device and ids it means like just now i said to you which mobile which device it's running means ios or uh android and which model is using which sim it has it's a 4g or 3g mobile so that kind of information so for that also i am sharing the information only analytics and advertisement or marketing okay then save it then go next then see all things are done then go and save okay this part is done then go back again then uh, government apps click on that is uh, your application developed by on behalf of a government example a national health care no my app is not developed by the government so i am saying no here then save then go back then this is a the basic part we have been completed regarding the permission and all those things now the app application models like images information what type of a app basic this is a back end thing and which information now going it can be show to the customer so that's why this is the manage the organizational presentation of your app so just select here so this is a application select your category for this edit uh, i am going here uh, just like i am going in the entertainment because my app is with the video downloader so here you can see in the video downloader it mostly like a videos only you will enter it's come under into entertainment okay then save then close here is also tax tax are the most important parts 
here i'm just filtering i'm going in the uh, entertainment here is saying entertainment movies prank virtual t just okay it's up to you tax you can select anything and here is asking email id so i am copying and pasting here email id save if you have a mobile number you can place it and website also you can place it. but here is only required the email id so i am just writing the email id it's up to you you want to fill your company branding and all those things you can do here and click okay then then go back again click here it's done then again set up your store listing okay see here is showing the app name which we have been kept and here is asking for the short description we are already taken the short description just copy and paste it here it should be a only 80 characters so i am just editing some characters here okay then here is a long description Okay, then here is your logo. Here is my logo. It should be only 512, 512 pixel, but my image is uh, not a by a 512, 512 pixel. So what I'm going to do, image res. okay i have been made into 512 512 mostly probably logos won't be a exactly size so we need to do the resize okay then it's asking for a feature image feature image should be a 1024 pixels by 500 pixels so i already been edited these pixels so here is a here you need to add your video if it is available in a youtube way again here you need to have a uh, eight two to eight photos of 16.9 or 16.16 as per ratio each side should be a 15 of 320 pixels to 3 3840 pixels should be there so i have already been taken some screenshots of application and it is for the mobiles now we are going in the tabs so in the tabs of seven inches tab i have been uploading here uh, here is for the tab of 10 inches screen but i does not take or the big size but also i will try with these images whether it's going to take or not let me try Oh, its size is not been matching so i will do one thing i will delete it's not it's up to you whether you want to publish or not okay so what i'm going to do i'm not going to publish this 
I am not going to publish in the 10, uh, 10 inches uh, tab, tab screen because that does not take the images. It's okay. It's up to you. So I just do the save. I will go back. Just again go with the application. Here is a, again, see you can see there is a only uh, start the testing now is there. The other option has been gone and it's saying that release your application, test your application with a large group of a testing. But I don't want to test now. Let uh, anyone sign up with the testing application. I don't want this. Build excited for your application pre-registration. Like you can see some games will be there for the pre-registration they will ask you. But here in this case, what I'm going to, I'm going to directly publish. He's saying create and publish and release. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on and select the countries. So which uh, in this, which country you want to publish your application? My application is video downloader. So I want for all countries. So I'll just click on all countries and just save it. And again, go back. Just go again. Don't be get a confused. Make sure you, you should be go with the create and publish a release in that on create a new release so here i want to create a release here i need to upload my abb file so here i already been have a abb file just i will click it here So here is there, it will be uh, after uploading the app. You can see there is a release note you can able to write. You should not change this one or this one. As you can see, I have been uploaded the bundle of version 8 and EPA of 24 and targeted SDK of 32 and secondary level of a 4 ABB. These are the not important things, but for when you are uploading, it will be going to come. You can check it out when you are building the application, you will understand. And the release version I'm using is eight now. So after that, you are asking for the release note. It's up to you whether you want to keep it or not, but please make sure you should not delete these both things. And you should be right here, your matter. So right now I'm entering here some matter. The all video download is a flea is a pop, uh, powerful app. So here that you should go on a save the draft. Then go next. Here it's showing you yeah. some warnings. Like you must complete the advertisement policy, all those things, but it's not showing in a red. It's showing in a yellow. Yellow is not been a big problem. You can ignore these things. But if it is showing in the red, then you need to do some changes. So here I'm doing the save. Okay. Now it's asking me. Uh, it's ready to send up for a review version one. So then I'm going to go for the go for a public overview. If you does not find here, you can find here also public overview. So here is directly he's given. So I'm going with the go with the public overview. Here you can see all the information here regarding. Then you need to check all those things are fine or not. So from my side is all those things are fine. So this sent for review. So after the changing of 7, 14 changes sent for a review. So my application is now under a review. So how you can able to find it is under review. Go in application as you can see your application as in under review. So like this. If it is your a new account, it's take like seven days to be alive you're not in your play console to a play store. But this is a new account. So it's takes some time like a seven days nearly. If it is your old account, it's take only 24 hours to be a get a live. So you need to be wait. If it is a any error, you need to check with the mail and see what are the details he has given. According to that, you need to publish your application. Okay. I hope you like this video. If you have any doubts, let me give in the comments and let me know what are the next video you require. I hope you like this video. I know and sometimes I have been breaking, but I hope you like my video. If you are not feeling any comfortable, you have any doubt, let me ask me and you can I can able to help you out. So if you have any kind of app works or games or website work, let us know. We will do that. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much. 
लाइक द माई वेब लाइक माई वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल थैंक यू